one of the the projects we worked on last year was actually with Pepsi and it was for an internal competitive research function. And one of the things they'd done is in the, in the year prior, they had rolled out a new set of values and best practices that they wanted to really define how they work with their internal customers. Is it, it was combination of values and kind of techniques or tools or practices they wanted folks to use. And when they came to us, they said, hey, you know, we've we've done this rollout. We had a live class, which we then switched to WebEx because of COVID. But we're still not seeing this embedded on the job. And so that's really what brought them to the learning cluster approach. And the project was going to touch about 400 employees across the world, all different regions. And yeah, as I mentioned, they had an in-person training and then they'd convert it to WebEx. And, and they, were, they were kind of in the middle of developing, I think, one other asset, like a coaching toolkit in, in the meantime. So one of the challenges with this project for us was that we kept hearing that everybody's job is so different that they can't tie the content back to the context. So they were like, yeah, you know, we can't really, we can't really figure out how to provide case studies or examples or activities that tie back to the learner because everybody does something different. Everyone's job is unique. And we hear this a lot. <laughs> this is a challenge we come across a lot because of course everybody wants to be unique. But often it's honestly really an excuse to not dive deeper into the business need and the capability. So how did the LCD model help us in this? The, the change action and the learn action really helped us. With the change action, what we're really trying to do is to identify the business pain we're trying to solve and the on-the-job behavior that we would see different. That becomes our goal for the learning cluster. So in this case, we actually spent three hours with our sponsor really diving into what is it that you want to see differently on the job? You've got these values and best practices. That's great. But how do you actually envision these manifesting in a day-to-day -day level for the employees? And so based on that, we actually came up with five to seven on-the-job objectives, which if you've seen our strategic performance objective template, you'll know we have our business pain statement, and then we have our on-the-job changes. So the change action really helped because we got a lot more clarity on the business need. And that gave us an idea of what they wanted all employees to be doing on a day-to-day. -day. And then on this, the second part, we then really focused on the learn action, which is about figuring out who your learner personas are. And despite them constantly telling us everyone does something different, all the projects people work on are so different, what did we find after 20 interviews? Lots of themes. <laughs> so we had a lot of themes and we really, one way we were able to find those themes is because our learner interview questions were tied back to those business goals. So we were really, uh, the, the change goals. So we were really able to figure out what are people's barriers to accomplishing those specific changes on the job. So I'll share with you all the the learning cluster we developed. So here are the, we actually ended up with four learner personas. And um, again, you know, they were saying everyone's job is super different, but we really found that when it came to this, actually putting the best practices into practice, these four personas were really the, the main ones that were barriers. And what you can see is what we put there was the biggest content struggle for each of these. And that's because as we did our interviews, we learned what their barriers were specifically with the putting the content into action. And so that's what we are really calling out here. And then in terms of our learning cluster, where they'd started was they had the, um, the courses, both live in person and also the WebEx. They had started developing a coaching toolkit for managers of employees to use. 
but they really didn't have all of these other pieces that would help folks in their moment of need after the class. So it was, there was always that question from employees, you know, hey, the class was really, really great, but now what? And so we spent a lot of our time on this project upgrading the course. So that way it was way more context tied and upgrading the coaching toolkit and then creating these fillable templates people could use at any time, any place. Um, we provided a lot of suggestions around having a social learning community.